Hey guys, this is um, lesson two. Before we get started, um, here's the lesson title. Lesson two, how to find area. All right, before we get started, go ahead and look at the learning goal again. Remember our learning goal is I can explain and use the area and perimeter formulas to solve multi-step problems. The level four is you can do it with irregular shapes as well. If you were able to understand perimeter of irregular shapes, you've got a part of the level four, which is awesome. Level three is I can explain and use the area and perimeter formulas to solve multi-step problems. Level two, you need help with a peer or the teacher. You're probably still hovering around here, which is perfectly fine. And level one, even with peer teacher assistance, I'm not successful meeting the learning goal. Some of us may also be at a level one. That's okay, we're only at lesson two. So before you get started, what I'd like you to do is rate yourself a four, three, or two, or one, and give yourself a circle around your rating for lesson two, right by the title, so I know where you were at the beginning of the lesson, okay? So go ahead and rate yourself now and put it next to lesson two. All right, so again, area is the amount of space on the inside of a flat object, and perimeter, which was lesson one, is the length of space around an object. So perimeter is around, area is in the middle. All right, we're going to talk about area today more specifically. So when we're measuring area, you're measuring actually two components. You're measuring the length and the width together in an object. Now when we do that, when we measure the inside of something, you can't measure a straight line. You've got to measure in little itty bitty squares. You have to measure in units that have a length and a width. So if I were to measure the area or the inside of this, I would have to cover it in little teeny tiny squares and then count the number of squares I used in order to cover this space, all right? Because we're talking about something that is, you know, a space inside of something, you have to cover it with little teeny tiny squares. So that's exactly what I'm doing, is I'm covering this space to see how many of these tiles can cover or make the area of this shape. All right, I'm doing this as fast as I can. So you can see what you're actually doing when you're finding the area. You're telling me how many little squares can fit inside of a shape. And as we go further, this will definitely remind you of the area model. Only a couple more. All right, so the number of squares that fit inside of here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So the area of this shape is equal to 36, and what did I cover it in? I covered it in square units. And that's really important. When you're doing area, we talk about square units because we're covering them in squares. We're not covering this in hearts. Okay, then it'd be 36 heart units. But we're not doing that. We're covering it in squares here. Let's look at this next shape. So if I were to cover this shape, I would have one, two, three, four, five, six. So the area of this shape is six square units because I covered it in squares. All right, so the inside of this is worth six square units. Let's do the last one. So I'm gonna steal squares from this guy. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So the area of this shape is also six square units. All right, and you know, these shape look, shapes look about the same size, it's just one's turned. So they have the same area, all right? 
Now let's find the area of this shape. So all we have to do is figure out how many square units are in the inside of this shape. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So the area is equal to twenty little squares, square units. All right? Now let's look at this shape. So how many squares are in the inside of this green box? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So the area of that shape is 42. I was counting square, so square units. All right, moving on. Okay, this is a big one. So, how many squares are on the inside? So I'm not going to write it this time, I'm just going to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Notice something? They're all going across by 10. So could we count by 10s? Definitely. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. So the area is equal to 120 square units. That's how many squares are on the inside of this shape. All right, so this is an area of a, an irregular shape, okay? We don't have all of the sides are the same length, all right? So we have to count them more carefully. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68. So the area of this shape is 68, I counted squares, units. All right. Now this shape. This shape's a little bit tricky because I have some half units here. These two together, this is a half unit, and this second one is a half unit. So together, these two units would be one whole. And I have another two units here, one, two that are half units, but two halves together is one whole. And then I have these guys. So one, two, three, four, five, six, plus my two holes, seven, eight. So it's eight square units for that shape. So for homework tonight, you are to find examples of things around your house that you would measure in areas. So an example would be the amount of grass in your yard because that's on a flat space. It's the inside. So how much grass is in your yard, you'd measure that in area. Find me three more things that you'd measure in area. And find the area of the next three shapes in square units. And I will show them to you and you can pause as you need. There's the first shape, find the area. 
Second shape, find the area. These should be looking familiar. And third shape, find the area. And when you're all done, I would like you to go back to the learning goal. And I would like you to tell me where you're at at the end of the lesson and put a triangle around it. So are you a four, a three, a two, or a one? And then put a triangle around where you're at on the learning goal after you saw lesson two. Thank you so much for the hard work and I will see you tomorrow.